When an outcome is different than a plan or an expectation, use a reconciliation to explain what happened. I learned this from one of my bosses at Disney, and it made communication way better, way easier inside the company. There are three things you have to do to make the reconciliation. First, write down the number you had planned or expected. It could be for sales, profits, units produced, whatever. Second, write down the number you actually got. It might be lower or higher than you planned. It's almost never exactly what you had expected. Third, fill in the adjustments. Write the name of each of the sources of difference between the number you had planned and the number you actually got. These are the reasons why the number changed. Next to each source of difference, write the number difference or the variance attributable to that source. It could be positive or negative. Just make sure you arrange the adjustments in descending order by size. The biggest source of difference should be first. Do you get it? I know you do. Now that you have these three steps under your belt, anyone who can read and do addition can understand what's happening in the business. Let's ask this simpleton to take a look at your reconciliation. See here, simpleton? We thought we'd have profits of $100, but then we spent more than we meant to on fancy water. We got some unplanned severance to that employee who only worked from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we got a surprise bill from Amazon Web Services. So we ended up only making $10 in profit. The plan, the adjustments, and the actuals. Even the simpleton gets it. And since you work at a company without simpletons, your colleagues, all of whom are above average intelligence, well, they can focus on what matters. The management so what of all this. You can make reconciliations for any quantitative output or process measurement that matters to your business. You can reconcile plans versus actuals, or last year's number to this year's number, where the adjustments are the sources of growth or decline. If you can measure it, you can reconcile it. In many companies, people are wasting each other's time as they struggle to communicate relevant facts to each other. It'd be so much better if you used a reconciliation. You can establish the facts quickly, and you can get on to the fun part of business, the part where you sit around and you decide, what the heck are we gonna do next? Your colleagues, your board members, your shareholders, they are gonna thank you. Now, go back to work. <laughs>